looking back at the last matchup between these two teams, it was the Clippers who were unable to... You know what? The guy on the PA system just said Los Angeles Lakers. He said it before I started recording the video. Yeah, it forced them to go much deeper into their rotation than they would have liked to. I can't believe Chris Paul missed that. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. So on the floor for Houston. Harden and Ariza out on the perimeter. Monte Yunus out there with Howard. And it's Terry in at the one spot. That's a two. No! The Rockets pull it in. They're coming off. That is not what I wanted. Minnesota. And what that game came down to, guys, was their ability to, to use that three-point shot so effectively. The work they did on the perimeter was absolutely outstanding. Way too much for that defense to be able to handle. Well, they just gave him two points. Defensively, you're going to have to tighten things up here. That's that's not a good sign. DeAndre Jordan alongside Blake Griffin. Maybe the best no! dunker. Good defense. Uh, you got to get the ball. Oh, Matt Barnes. No, 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 no. I didn't do the right dribble. Man. Passes it to Reddit. Some nice. Don't run in. No, 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 no. Oh, good save. Good save. And Terry picks him up defensively. Shot clock at six. Here's Barnes, and a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And for DeAndre Jordan Clark, between his length and his leaping, you know, I feel like. This is going to be a tough game, or this is going to be a great game between me and the Rockets. I should have did 12 minute quarters for this one. Overwhelming that 10 foot pass. It really does look that way. Nice shot by Terry. If you want to see a 12 minute quarter game between the Rockets and the Clippers, just let me know, and I'll do it. They've gone two or three here to start out the game. Oh, nice behind the back. Penetrating. He's over there. To Griffin. Power. Powerhouse in Griffin. The jump hook. Good rebound. Oh, come on. I hate. I can never make those. Every once in a blue moon. It's Ariza on the wing. Jacks up a three. And the rebound goes to Griffin. Oh, we caught a break there. Rockets on defense. Trailing by two. Kicks to Barnes. Here's the pass to Jordan. Oh, Howard ain't got no pin. Oh. And check out the bounce. Oh, bounce. Bounce to the ounce clock. How about that? <laughs> yeah. All right. Showing him off right there. Good move. What does that even mean, Kevin? <laughs> bounce to the ounce? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Beautiful finger roll to cap the head drive off. He knows how to finish with some flair and flavor, guys. Clippers have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Barnes kicks to Griffin. Shoots. And it goes. Oh, no, oh, I can make that. But any other time, I can't make anything. That's just run of the mill for him. Typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. I think Blake Griffin makes a good amount of his... Uh, contact shots if I'm not you know, mistaken. For a player whose star shines as brightly as Blake Griffin, Steve, it what seems damn it. a lot of oh, okay, regarding so his game, although I think you and I would agree he expanded his game certainly this past year. Well, I can tell you this. I am not one of those naysayers because I, I think Blake Griffin was the third best player in the NBA last year. Uh, the offensive expansion to his game, the post game, the passing, uh, the ball handling in transition. I think I had a lay reaction there, but I think Gotten oh, better well. and better every year. Let's get Mr. 3 JJ Reddick going. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Paul kicks to Griffin. Back to Paul. Outside Griffin. Lock at six. And there's the feed to Paul. A step back shot here. Again, Los Angeles. For those two points, really I didn't run the play right. My fault. Looking at Los Angeles, they took the win in their last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. You know, it's interesting. Chris Paul possessing great quickness, and yet his natural inclination is not to push the pace. He tends to prefer to operate in the half court, running the pick and roll. Everything looks the same. Spencer Hawes has checked in for DeAndre. I kind of wonder if I have. Hamilton comes in for Matt Barnes. I kind of wonder if I have put an emphasis set 
Joey Dorsey's checked uh, in for Howard. Auto Smith for comes in for Monty And it's Pablo Prigioni in for Jason Terry. 114 left to play in the first. Down low. Here's Dorsey. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. The defense just couldn't recover in time. Yeah, the D pretty much went brain neutral on that one, Clark. Wouldn't, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, sir. I, I like that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but it, to me, that's what happened. Oh. He shifted the, the brain into neutral. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> Good. Okay, I'll take it. He's got five points so far. Well, you talk about Paul's preference to play in the half. Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan Clark tend to flourish in the oh, Felt like Austin Rivers was not really listening. About he wasn't that doing the right, right moves that I was doing. The sign for the Clippers has been Blake's development as a half-court offensive weapon. Okay, good shot. I'll he give you that. Basket. He's shooting it better with his back to the basket, and he's making his free throws at a higher rate, so that lends itself to being a little more effective in the half-court. Good observation. Houston shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And for the season, guys, they're about 73 Los Rockets. Line, so kind of a, a Are those special jerseys? And, and guys, you know what? That's made things. I mean, I would assume they're special jerseys, I mean, but I don't know. I could be wrong. To convert their chances at the free throw line. Now here's Griffin. Rivers passes to Reddick. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Oh, what the fuck? Here is Harden. Coming off a solid outing against Minnesota. It's Ariza on the wing. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throw. All right, James Harden is sitting down. We got to capitalize. He sits down, we capitalize. He misses, he cap, never mind. Well, you kind of expect that from him. You pretty much know what the result's gonna be when he goes to the line. Rivers kicks to Reddit. Oh, you already know. And it was an excellent release. Corey Brewer gave him too much space. Oh, I was getting ready to put some defense in the backcourt. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Los Angeles on top. Mm. They lead by three. We'll be back shortly live. 13 16. Let's do this. Well, not let's do this. Next you know what I mean. April 1st, Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk Nowitzki. So far. Guys, what's your take on the Clippers so far? I think it's a good start for this club. They seem to be All right, playing let's do well, this. And, uh, we'll see if they can carry it forward. Well, they hit the ground running and had a really nice beginning to this game, Steve. Good defense. What the? F uh, of course. No. They know how to grind it out and get a win too. Yeah, I thought they were a little better defensively. They have guys that will certainly give you highlight reel material. Ah. Uh -uh. But they're smart and how just they my luck, I get blocked too. How they finish games too. Austin Rivers is out there with Jordan Hamilton. Then there's special. Uh, you're gonna give me spit. Wow, Chuck what a jump Lou. shot. And it's Davis in at the power forward. They're the group out there for the Clippers starting the second quarter. And Prigioni kicks to a reason from 11 feet away, and the shot is good. Yes. has got the first points up on the board here in the second okay. quarter for the Rockets. And with the Clippers, I think a big part of how they can grind out a win, if need be, is that they know how to get to the free throw line. Smith against Davis. And off the Good line. shot. In it goes. <laughs> Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Well, one way or another, the Clippers, as you said, they'll find ways to score points, even if it means selling a call or two. But do what you need to do to get wins and most players are open to that and a foul on the shot he'll go to the strike for two how did Jordan Hamm I wasn't even watching to be honest but if you have to pick his game apart he's a bit of a tweener uh can you, are you gonna show the replay uh you're not gonna show the replay the one time I actually want to watch the replay you don't want to show it can do a lot of different things but so much depends on the players he has around him it needs to be the right fit 
And with Smith playing at the four, it used to be a luxury as he can defend players with his reach, but now Clark, it's almost an assassin as he gets Damn it. And his shot from outside isn't what it needs to be. Well, in the modern NBA, Kevin, you know this as well as I do. you got to have perimeter threats. And if you oh, play damn. at the three, it can Look put who's you No, that's not who I thought it was. Here's Davis. And that one. Ha, come on. Pockets trail. There's the pick. I'm going to let Chris Paul do that. Harden kicks to Howard. Back to Harden. This one for three. It's home. James Harden could have passed that to Jason Terry for a better shot. Jason Terry for a better shot. Chris Paul, you already know. It seemed like every time the home crowd got going, they just took the wind out of their sails with a, another three-point barrage. Yeah, those bombs were really falling. Terry dishes to Harden. And it's Terry off the oh, I wanted that animation stop right Money there. No! The Damn it. And he was Oh, good move. Chance here now for a three-point play. It seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Barnes, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Clippers. And they're knocking down that mid-range jumper so far. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. Let's go now to the sideline and catch No, 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 no. Oh, and it hit the white hole in the head. He got it. When Doc Rivers came to the Clippers, he and one. their image from a Showtime team to a true contender. Blake Griffin said, Lob City is done. And while the Clippers still make highlight reel plays with the best of them, Rivers has brought a seriousness and a focus to this team as they pursue an NBA championship. Guys? Rivers has said lobs are great, but winning is better. They're trying to get them both. Well, of course winning is better. The free throw line for him tonight. And he's putting together a solid year at the free throw line with his percentage currently about 79. Matt Barnes, really a good glue guy. Rebounds, defends. He's gotten better with his outside I think shot. we're up by three. Yeah, we're up by three. Fearlessness that I think a lot of coaches love. Now it's all right. called by Houston. I kind of want to try to get DeAndre Jordan going. Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes, too. I really haven't used that much. He brings so much energy at both ends of the floor. He does a lot of those little intangible things that don't always show up on the stat sheet. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Howard kicks to Harden. Back to Howard. Houston moving it around. And here is Harden. Right now averaging 27 points a game. You got to love it. I mean, this kid battles. Good defense. Inside as he does on the perimeter. Clippers leading by three. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Kevin McHale coaching his team during that break. He said their plan was run their offense through James Harden. Their offense is most effective, Coach said, when he... Ah, that's not what I wanted. ...looking for total involvement from him for the rest of this game. Well, Coach not wasting any time in tweaking the game plan. We'll see if it makes a difference as we approach halftime, Kevin. Thanks Damn, I think he just knocked down Austin Rivers. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Over to the left wing. Paul kicks to Rivers. Get position, Jordan. That's what I'm waiting for. Feeds it to Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Back him down. Inside okay, that works too. Good move. Jordan's got his second bucket. Well, I'm glad you made it. And so here is Houston. It's a three-point game. And it's Terry off the drive. Oh, oh God, I was so close. Damn it. Nice job taking advantage of what the defense is giving. Clippers have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Oh, I should have popped that. Barnes dishes the ball. He kicks it to Rivers. Let's he see if all, let's, not all, let's see if DeAndre Jordan can do it again. Oh no. No, wrong move. Damn it. Rocket shooting 44% from the floor since we began the second quarter. Barnes put the uh, get, uh, get him. Good defense. The Clippers shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Davis, the pass to Barnes. 
Paul kicks Ripples to wide open, Austin Rivers. Oh, no. Well, if this game comes down to the rebounding battle. He's standing there. Damn it. Yeah, they've been really strong in the paint, battling the glass. Harden. Again, the miss by Harden. No. Okay, I'll take it. We're still up. We're up, We're up by one. That's good, though. Wrap up the second quarter. Clippers lead by one. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Josh, you guys seemed intent on getting this win tonight. How important a game was this to this team? Almost definitely. I mean, this, this game is as important as the next. We really need this win. I'm pretty sure they need it too. So, uh, you know, you expect a good show out of all of us. Two hungry teams, no doubt about it, Josh. Thanks for the time. Thanks, Doris. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter started. All right, let's take a look at these stats. Shooting 55% from the field. We've made all of our free throws. They have more rebounds than us. Jason, nobody cares about Jace Terry and his seven points. Nobody cares about Monte Yunus and his four rebounds. Show some Clipper stats. Oh, Austin Rivers with two assists. Yay. Hell, yay. Only show the one highlight for the Clippers. Austin Rivers, two assists. Come on. I wanted to know who had points and rebound. Not assists. And what was most impressive was that his decision making and, and shot taking was very disciplined and efficient. Really an excellent half. Yeah, that's exactly right. Whether it's been from All right, range let's get to this game and the flash of cheerleaders. Only what the defense has given him, and he's not trying to do too much. I love the flow and rhythm he's playing with here. The Rockets, of course, at the forefront were vanguard as far as advanced analytics go. Good defense. Good defense, DeAndre. I don't know if you blocked that, but it was really great defense right there, though, man. And Ariza out on the perimeter. Howard is out there with Monte Yunus, and it's Terry in at the one. Paul for three, and yes, sir, that one drops. Good three, Chris Paul. Got the first bucket of the third here for Los Angeles. Rockets trailed by four. And as you guys know, the Rockets at the forefront technology-wise, too. You see coaches with electronic tablets. Well, they installed flat-screen monitors in the locker room. I've never seen coaches with, it, with electronic tablets. Players, so, you know, they're trying to Play close Griffin sending me a pick there. Oh! Ah! Uh, and the players themselves. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris? Guys, Jamal Crawford fitting right in with the Los Angeles Clippers. He said, quote, this is the best team I've ever been on, and it's made me a better player. I've never oh, yeah, that's who I was forgetting ball. about. Jamal Crawford. Where is he? Is he injured? I think he's, he's injured. He probably has to be injured because he hasn't been in the game one time. over to you. In his instant offensive role, he was a big part of their success. Thanks, Doris. Timeout called the Rockets. Uh, all the guys are fresh. CP3 last year when he mentioned that he feels that Allen Iverson was the most influential player ever. Hmm. Interesting. Most probably would have said Jordan. Rockets trail by six. Here is Harden. They set the pick. Terry in the corner. Oh, There's damn. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, I was watching Jason Terry the whole time. I didn't, I didn't even see Dwight Howard. I just felt the controller vibrate for a second. I was like, what happened then? I just seen Dwight Howard. They're the best in the business, so they can handle it. Clippers leading by six. Talk about Allen Iverson's in. Evan Demlin from JJ. Three jersey in Pretty sure a lot of you like JJ. Bro. Oh. Oh, you gonna run back? You gonna make it splash, JJ? Yes. Coming off the screen. Reddick's got six. And that's why teams emphasize the use of screens and picks just to get you some open looks like that one. Terry outside. See, Jason, Jason Terry should have shot that. No. Barnes. Good defense. No. Oh, come on. Oh, and Allen Iverson, what similarities do you see in their games? Well, really just size. That's the only thing. Allen Iverson was a speed merchant. Chris has tremendous and deceptive speed, a little stronger, more of a quarterback. AI was just a All right, we got plenty. No, don't even. Oh, I had him. I had him up in the air. For a long time at his size. I mean, he was Get it in there. Pass it back out. Bam. 
I hadn't seen a small guy do since Nate Archer. They're sagging. Thomas was similar, but a little strong. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. What? Goes up on the high post. Here's Howard, and he banks in the layup. Howard's got four points this quarter. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Paul dishes to Barnes. Left side, Griffin. Foul called as he misses okay, that the line and shoot two. It's on Monte Yunus. You know, it's interesting to look at the relationship between Blake Griffin and Chris Paul. Blake, the unquestioned top dog until CP3 arrived three seasons ago. And Paul, of course, such a vocal leader. I think it's taken them some time to find the balance in that dynamic. And Griffin, you know, not quite as outspoken, doesn't get into teammates like Chris Paul does, but he is becoming more of a vocal leader. What the fuck? Process, guys, it doesn't happen right away. He may focus more on encouragement rather than giving marching orders like CP3. No, get that out of here. Good block. Good sign. Turkaloo outside. Ball against Harden. Reddick passes to Griffin. No, fuck. Ariza's got three rebounds so far in the game. And Dak Rivers said coming in, one of his goals was to help Griffin really solidify his standing as one of the league superstars along with CP3 with the emphasis certainly on defense. Well, and I think Doc has accomplished that and Griffin has accomplished that. He's gotten much better in terms of his uh, offensive weapons, his defensive awareness, just his command of a double team when he sees that. So Griffin has become a true superstar, no doubt about it. Turkaloo kicks to Hawes. Just five on the clock. There's the pick. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Uh, shouldn't have bounced past three it, man. On three on the fast break. Here's Prihioni, defended by Paul. Just stay on where you go. Oh, good steal. I'd like to see them go two. No! They need to make this a quick possession and a fruitful one, too. And while That's what I get. Find out a little bit about the shooting guards around the league and which of them have had the most assists over the last 10 games. James Harden, number one. Well, when he's on the court, it's like having a, a second point guard out there. In fact, I would say his passing ability may be better than some of the actual point guards around this league. And Steve, Don't, no, 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 no. Because he does handle so many of their passing duties. It doesn't matter what we call him, though. The guy's got game. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Hamilton's checked in for Griffin, and it's Rivers in for Chris Paul. And a switch here also for Houston. Smith has checked in. Brewer is just to a reason. Another miss by Houston. Los Angeles leading by six. Rivers with it. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And there's no. the foul against Houston. I didn't want to pump fake. I wanted the ball passed to JJ Redick. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter. Redick passes to Rivers. Six to shoot. Now the dish to Hawks. Unloads from 13. Misses off the right iron. Yeah, I knew I did that way too early. From deep. No way, Corey Brewer makes the out. Not to say. For the buzzer, but it's off target. The third quarter comes to a close. The Clippers on top, leading by six. And after a quick break, we're gonna come right back with the start. I was, the I was about to say, there's no way Corey Brewer is gonna make that shit. No fucking way. Yeah, 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 we know. All right. What's good? And it's time now to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Today, Steve, it's a big man winning the honor. And it was a no-brainer. This assist was really out of this world. I mean, he had a great understanding of the situation and where the ball had to go.
Clippers leading by six. Davis is out there with Barnes. Then it's Jordan Hamilton. Then there's Austin Rivers. And it's Jordan in at the center position. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Now here's Rivers. Down to five on the shot clock. The turnaround J. And Davis Good gets shot. it to go. Davis no has good make. Okay, both. Here in the fourth for Los Angeles. Rivers against Terry. Power kicks to Terry. To the inside. Out to Smith. Hmm. I would have thought Claire Brewer would have put it up there. Off target from three point range. LA has gone four six from outside the arc tonight. Rivers with it. And oh, Terry he's flopping. Pass to Rivers. No. Hamilton I was supposed outside. to go to Jordan Hamilton. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. That one goes. Ah. Uh, okay. The bounce pass was the key to the play. Timeout called the Rockets. Well, this last season was the Clippers 30th in Los Angeles. And for a team that's long played in the Lakers' shadow, the second season in a row, the Clippers were the best team in L.A. So, for the Clippers, Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Davis. Reddick comes in for Jordan Hamilton. And Paul subbed in for Austin Rivers. And a switch here also for Houston. James Harden, he's checked in for Smith. And now Doris Burke has James a Harden. Ow. James Harden has not well, done guys, a lot of McHale has not done a lot of scoring. That last break, he told them that they simply have to step up, saying if we don't make a move now, it's going to be too late. Give them everything you've got, Kevin. And for the oh, I didn't even mean to go for that and shot, but okay, I'm glad I did. Only six times have they finished the regular season with a better winning percentage than the Lakers. Man, it's been domination by the Lakers out there in uh, L.A. land. So Clipper fans are hoping that this is a sign of things to come going forward for their team, the Clippers. Clippers leading by 13. Paul outside. This is to Griffin. And the layup's good off the glass. Majority of the time, I can't make those. Coach Doc Rivers from the Celtics in exchange for a draft pick. In Boston, uh, he'd been the second longest tenured coach in the league after Greg Popovich. Yeah, but rather than rebuild, I think he, he wanted to go for another ring in L.A. He's got a lot of authority. Yeah. Personnel decisions. So Doc has really put his stamp on this team. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. Oh, don't do full court press. Ball against Terry. Paul dishes to Reddick. Jordan inside. Howard with the block. I hate that animation so much. Now Terry. Pass to Harden. Jason Terry had a good opportunity to take that three, but he decided to not do it and minded up making a good play. But a few other guys need to pick up the pace if they're going to be good. <laughs> Paul passes to Jordan. The 11-footer, Jordan. Oh, damn, this thing is way too fast. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. I don't know. Every time I watch the Clippers, I just see DeAndre Jordan just gets fouled a lot. So I don't really know what he does in the post other than back down hard. Howard against Griffin. Try to score. Oh, to that cuts the lead to single digits. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Here's Paul. No. Okay, I will take it, even though that's not what I wanted. And the Clippers lead by 11. That's really set them apart today, guys. That success from the mid-range. Well, these are two teams that clearly you've seen the difference in offensive philosophies here. The three from Harden can't get it to go. So Los Angeles will take it the Oops, other way. Person. The clock ticks down. Who's over there wide open? Oh, you're too far back, homie. Here for the Clippers. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here, Clark. I call them warm-up jump shots. I mean, three after three. They paid off. Ah, Griffin. The year, looking at their record, this game will make it 49 wins. And if you had to pick one player who would maybe take over everyone else in terms of picking up his game, 
It was, I think, that kind of a night for Chris Paul. You look at the energy he brought on both ends of the floor, and it's easy to see he was a, a difference. Yeah, that was slightly late. Houston's gone 0 with 3 so far. Well, way or another, we got this W. Good defense. Brewer's shot is off. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. There's a four second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Reddick for three. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Add more insult to your business in front of the home fans. And Steve, I thought those fans, those home fans, gave this team a big lift all game. A lot of positive energy in the building. Harden can't hit. And here is Paul. So the Clippers winning this one.